This may look like any other wooden chest found at a garage sale, but Ralph Hunter, president and founder of the African American Heritage Museum of Southern New Jersey, says this tool chest is anything but ordinary. And we're very excited to have uh, this wonderful chest donated to us um, by the fixed descendant family that were slave owners in New Jersey. So it's come down through that last generation of people who had the chest and they've had it in their family for many, many years, and it was stored down in their basement. And when the, they relocated it, they found that it had all these tools and all these wonderful artifacts in it from Lucy. Hunter is referring to Lucy Harris Jackson, the owner of this tool chest and last known slave released in southern New Jersey. According to Robert Barnett, who studied and wrote about Lucy's story and her connection to the chest extensively, he says Lucy was the last person formally designated by the U.S. Census as a slave in South Jersey. And so the assumption when I heard that it was a chest that had been owned by her was that it was her bedding and clothing, right? A, a clothes chest. And then when we saw it, and we, we said this is definitely designed to hold trays of tools and it's good workmanship. It's, it's a obviously mid 1800s design. Um, and, you know, it was OK, a tool chest. This woman had a tool chest. Well, why not? <laughs> She's the only one doing work in that in that farm. Right. So so it made more sense. The tool chest arrived at the museum on Monday morning after being passed down through Kida K. Cole's family since Lucy's death in 1875. The chest was passed on to Cole in 1974 when her father died. My daughter doesn't, she was born after even my dad passed, so she doesn't even have that, that connection. And she said, uh, when I talked to her about it, she said, you know, she said, I think I'd rather see you donate it to somebody that, you know, where it could be seen and used and appreciated. In addition to the chest, hundreds of artifacts are on display, including these chimes that Hunter says are the second most significant piece of history found in the chest. Why is it so significant that you have it here, you're playing it, people can see it? Because it brings back to me what my grandfather and my great grandfather went, lived when they worked on a plantation in Mississippi. I wondered how, um, they got chance to eat or had chance to get water. Now they probably used a different chime for different things. Maybe it was one chime for lunch, one chime for dinner, and maybe another chime to be used for something totally different. Then the, the slave was then recognized the sound and then they would come in from the fields to eat. And when I asked Hunter what he thinks Lucy would say if she knew all this fuss was being made of her tool chest. Yeah. Lucy's looking down on you and I right now. And she's saying that I'm finally um, being recognized for the human being that I was. When we go back to slavery in Southern New Jersey and we can look back and see an individual who was uh, so very, very important to, um, to history. It's just, I'm flabbergasted. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.